Whoa. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Nuno Adubair. I'm here to present the topic Dynamic Susceptibility Contrast Perfusion MRI in Post-Therapeutic therapeutic, uh, Glioblastoma uh, Evaluation. So, uh, in our study, uh, our specific goals were to evaluate the diagnostic performance of the SC perfusion metrics in the differentiation between progression and pseudo progression and uh, to assess differences between two image post-processing uh, models. We carry out the retrospective study in a three Tesla equipment with 58 patients with GBM who had undergone therapy, who present alterations uh, suggestive of tumoral progression or pseudo progression in which the presto sequence was performed. Uh, for uh, each patient, uh, a ROI was delineated uh, in the hotspot uh, of the tumor and another in normal uh, contralateral uh, white matter to the, to the lesion. In this analysis, we, we used two different post-processing models, model free and uh, manual IEF of Philips <coughs> interspatial uh, portal. So, uh, here we have an example of the manual IF method used in, in this work. As we can see, you select uh, a ROI, uh, okay, the red square in the image, uh, placing, uh, placing it in the middle cerebral artery uh, of the uh, contralateral hemisphere uh, to the legend. And after this, after this we uh, select the, the squares that better represent the final uh, decay here in yellow. So here we have uh, images that show us an example uh, how the ROI delineation was performed uh, in the lesion hotspot in the contralateral normal white matter and the different type of images that uh, we use to, uh, de uh, to delineate the, the lesion and the, the normal white matter. Uh, perfusion images, uh, CBV perfusion color map, uh, T1 with contrast and T2 uh, flare. It should be noticed that the, the delineation method was always the same for a progression and pseudo progression for from both uh, models. So uh, a descriptive analysis was performed for each metric uh, under study uh, uh, for the lesion and the normal tissue for both uh, models. We evaluate differences between progression and pseudo progression groups uh, uh, using the, the different models. Uh, we evaluate uh, differences between the analogous metric of each uh, of the model and the differences between the metrics according to tissue type, normal or malignant. We calculate the rock curves and analyze the area under the curve and define a, um, a cutoff, an optimal cutoff to do it. So, in terms of results, we have 58 patients, 51 cases of progression, 7 of pseudo progression. In this in this table, we can see the values of the different analyzed metrics. Uh, in this case, according to the model free post processing model for patients with tumor progression and pseudo progression, the highlighted metrics show significant differences uh, between progression and pseudo progression for uh, CBV, CBF, and its ratios. In terms of the manual IF model, as we can see, the results were very similar. The values of progression cases were always higher than the pseudo progression. So in terms of differences between the uh, models globally, the values of the analogous metrics are significantly different between the, the models for almost all metrics. This shows us that the model that we use influence the metric values, the absolute metrics, and this is something that we must take into account. In terms of tissue differentiation, the analytic metrics show significant differences uh, um, okay, in, for both models. As expected, CBV and CBF show significant differences in the progression cases but not in uh, pseudo progression. In terms of diagnostic uh, performance, as we can see globally, CBV, CBF, uh, and all these metrics show uh, a high R in the, in the uh, high R in the, the curve, and, uh, but the CBF of the lesion achieved the highest R in the, the curve with an accuracy of 95%. 
So, CBF, CBV of the lesions, and these ratios show significant differences between progression and pseudo progression. We see that we're, uh, show that the different models have differences uh, in the, the analogous metrics. Although CBV is the most widely used metric, several blood flow is, can be used to, to show us uh, a great potential in, in the glioblastoma evaluation. Thank you very much.